Roger, inflation, 5.2%. Is that the peak? I suspect it probably isn't. I reckon that next month it'll probably go up a bit, 5.3, possibly 5.4. But I think we're very close to the peak. Within a couple of months, I think we're going to find the rate going down. Looking at the other side then, after January when the VAT price hikes mm -hmm. drop out and, and, and perhaps other costs, do you see inflation, you've often said, dropping quite fast the other side? Oh, I think it'll drop very fast indeed. Uh, in January, when VAT does drop out, I think you may find it down to something like about 4%, and then falling steadily through the year. And I reckon by the end of next year, it's actually going to be below the target. So it'd be below 2%. 2 yep. Any danger that Mervyn King might have to write a letter because it's gone below 1%? I think there is a danger of that, but not within the next year or so, I thought. What about interest rates then? Oh, I think it's a very dull story. They're not going anywhere for a very, very long time indeed. Uh, two years, three years, possibly more. In terms of the damage that this is wreaking on people's income, do you think that by the time inflation starts to fall, people will have lost complete confidence and just reined in all spending? Oh, I think the pressure is really very strong on consumer incomes and consumer confidence, and we're going to see spending, I think, very weak indeed. But when inflation starts to fall, then I think people will feel the benefit. And before very long, you'll see the average earner actually having a real increase in their earnings. At the moment, of course, it's, it's falling because although the earnings may be going up on average 2 or 3%. That's all completely wiped out by inflation. Once you've got inflation down to 2%, and I think it's going lower, then you'll find people starting to have real increases in their earnings. So we're looking at what next spring? I think that's too soon, actually. I think it won't be down to target until the end of next year. I think it's the year after that you'll find that inflation is well below the average rate of increase of earnings.